hello there welcome to another installment of property vlogs today i'm so excited to show you this gorgeous house behind me this house is a brand new house new built house and it's by cotswold oak we are at the lie edge which is a fantastic development of high specification homes and this particular one is called the magnolia the magnolia is a four bedroom three bathroom property at you know in terms of sizing it's actually 1275 square feet and anything about the price the availability which is always constantly changing is going to be put on the screen using editing magic or you can click a link in the description to find out more accurate information directly now let's talk about what we're looking at externally externally you're looking at this beautiful mixed brick between this buff color and this red color and i like that mix actually because it ties in with the other properties on the development you've got dark gray windows you've got a large canopy above and it's actually a substantial size i'm going to show you pretty good and that's going to shelter you from the wind and the snow to my right your left you've actually got a garage now it doesn't look like a garage right now because it's the sales office but this house type comes with an attached garage so you kind of have to imagine the garage is there and then looking back at the property you've got a solid wood post and a bespoke front door made out of that solid wood we'll tell you more about that in a second but let's go straight into the house and then continue the tour we'll see you in a second Come inside guys and welcome home to your new build house. I'm so excited to get this tour started. Not only is the staging pretty much spectacular in here, but also we have lots of little details and lots and lots of nods to the history of Cotswold Oak, the company that built this new build house. So detail number one is this front door that I keep looking at. This beautiful solid wood door is an option you can have at this development. Again, just look at the profile details in this door. It's not your standard off the shelf. It is a bespoke piece of joinery. And you can just see how chunky this door is. It's really, really sturdy. I love that. As soon as that's closed, it's just so quiet in here and peaceful. You do have that glazing panel as well, bringing in lots of light into here, but it's not too much that it kind of compromises on privacy. But yeah, I'm so excited about the door. Let's talk about the hallway. So the hallway has this beautiful, beautiful candine flooring, which is a luxury vinyl tile. So that means it's durable. Even though it looks like wood, it doesn't squeak at all. It's silent and it's just so sturdy and robust. I love it. It's done in a wood kind of grain effect, but again, it's very uh, durable against like water. So easy to clean. Um, in this hallway, we have the staircase. I'm gonna talk more about the staircase later. It takes us to the first floor, but I just want to point out that we've actually got really impressive floor to ceiling heights here. They're taller than your standard 2.4 uh, meters. We've got a lot of kind of uh, dramatic um, a dramatic ceiling height in here I really really love it uh, for a new build home again we've got some detailing around the door the eye mongrel I mentioned and then the staircase on that side beautiful wallpaper over there and then I'm going to talk about the doors and eye mongery on the inside of the property so let me just close this door really quickly and I'll show you so the paneling in here is kind of like a cottage style it's a pre-finished door in this beautiful wood grain effect again we've got the chrome high mongery the chrome handles the chrome hinges and then in terms of architraves you've got like a beveled edge and a square edge profile to this and then that continues that language continues into the skirting board and then you can see at the bottom or maybe you see actually there's transparent ceiling all the way around the perimeter of the floor which is great for reducing drafts and minimizing acoustic uh, noises now let me show you the first room here so this is your formal lounge so in terms of formal lounge it's a rectangular floor plan right now it's staged with like a sofa over there sofa over here the focal point is over here with the tv i love the furniture and the stadium like I mentioned but again you can just see the proportions of this room are very good you've got large pieces of furniture that can easily be accommodated in here you've got a pendant light above and then in this corner they've gone with a chair but you can see you still have space either side if you wanted to you could probably put another armchair or sofa here you've got the radiator underneath this kind of tall window the window is so generous in proportion both of these open out so you can get 
fresh air coming into here and you do have the trickle vents bringing in fresh air again and then you've got views beautiful views of the kind of the countryside and the surrounding uh, context so that's the first room on this floor and it is carpeted again flooring finishes are customizable and um, one of the many options that you have in the development so let's go back into the hallway past the staircase which we will talk about later and then there's a little bit of storage underneath the stair there but then here behind this door is like your clerk room slash store additional formal store you've got your consumer unit there for the fuse board and then that's where your bt would be all the services neatly tucked away in there i love that so now we're gonna take you to this room which is the one that you've probably all been waiting for which is the open plan living dining kitchen area and in terms of proportions it's a really good size as you can see i'm now stood at the kind of the far end of the kitchen and you're kind of in the dining area right now that's where the camera is at the moment and i want to work through this methodically so let's start with the kitchen so you can see the kitchen area has spotlights above it and they're done in their standard white finish so they're very kind of like minimal on the eye they're not going to stand out in like metal um, and also the spaces have white sockets and switches the standard but in the kitchen area it's it's upgraded to your chrome sockets as standard. So in the kitchens, they have these beautiful chrome switches as standard. So let's start on this side. I keep jumping around. We've got shaker style, a shaker style kitchen shown as an example, but finishes like, you know, the handles, the materials, the colors, they are customizable. And that's kind of like part of the fun of choosing a new build house is that you get to add that personality. So this is like a really dark, dark navy blue shaker style with these kind of stainless steel slash kind of like brush chrome handles very sturdy and industrial so it's like traditional and uh, modern together we've got our fridge by Zanussi in a kind of 60 40 arrangement that's a fridge we've got storage above and below AEG double oven there microwave oven grill oven and below it really really discreetly placed in there and then we've got wall mounted cabinets i love the kind of the coving details above the cabinets that's pretty cool kind of accentuate that detail and then again we've got storage they're blue on the outside and white on the inside which is like a two-tone uh, thing going on there and everything is on soft closes so what you're looking at here is a stone worktop so you do have options to have stone and there's numerous options of worktops in this development and you've also got a, kind of a beveled edge profile i love kind of the appearance the marble appearance of this stone and the fact that they take it up to form the splashback and also the upstand it's a very nice detail to have we've got our four burner um, induction hob here cutlery drawer right where you need it love that and isn't that just a really nice quality cutlery drawer again more storage and look at that the glass um, side panels a nice detail so it's a really top spec kitchen everything on soft closes you've got the extract fan here with the light more storage more storage and then your isolation switch there and then moving around over here we've got our dishwasher storage all the way across there you've got your one and a half bowl sink by frank mixer tap also by frank very good brand and then a large window bringing in so much light we've actually got the blinds slightly drawn because there's so much light flooding into this space like it is a really really nice nicely proportioned window and that means when you're doing your washing, you have that kind of relationship with the garden. And, you you know, it's not going to be such a chore when you have views of your garden, nature, whilst you're doing that task. I love that. And I love the worktop. Beautiful detail there. That's the kitchen. And now I'm going to walk around over here and I'm going to tell you a bit about this dining area. At the moment, we've got it staged as a six seater. But I know that you can use your imagination and think about different ways of arranging furniture here. You can definitely get a larger table here if it's rectangular. This is a beautiful kind of elliptical table. But again, a couple of additional seats can easily be accommodated due to the amount of space either side of the table. There's a large radiator on this wall and there is a TV aerial. So 
if you wanted to, like if you didn't want a formal dining space, you can actually have like a sofa here, an L-shaped sofa, TV against the wall, and you can just either choose whether you want to face the garden or face the TV and create kind of like a bit of a dynamic hub. Now, now that we're talked with the talked about the dining area, I want to talk about this, which is this large window configuration. It is so good to have that kind of link into the kitchen dining space because you can then connect outwards during like warm, the warmer months and do barbecues maybe. But let me not stall any further. Let me tell you what we're gonna see. We're gonna actually show you the garden tour. So follow me and I'm gonna show you the garden. So the first thing I want to highlight is that on the inside, the doors are actually white, but as you're gonna see, the back of the house and the entire house has these contemporary dark gray windows. So it's kind of like a dual tone effect and it's definitely an additional detail. You've got lighting, um, right by the door and you've got an external tap and then this whole area is paved you can just imagine doing barbecues out here or events or have your garden furniture here it's a really nice touch and then you've got of course your lawn and planting fencing around the back and then brickwork to the garages your access to this particular show home and plot is over there via the timber fence and you can also see the door to this space which we're going to show you in a second so let's go back inside and continue the tour so now that we're back in the dining area i want to show you this room over here so this is your utility slash laundry room and it's such a bon nice bonus to have, isn't it? So you've got a space here and a space here where you can put your non-integrated appliances inside. You've got that same quality worktop reflected here and the same quality cabinets. So we haven't downgraded it just because it's kind of like a utility slash back of house space. You've got your boiler, your Worcester boiler here, and it's so silent, I can't even hear it. And that's kind of hidden tastefully behind this cabinet. Uh, cabinetry and yeah before I move off actually I want to talk about the door this is the door we saw earlier but again it brings in so much light into the space it functions some, somewhat like a window and it's great for you know when you've done your washing you kind of take it outside and then when it's ready to be folded you bring it in and then just in case you thought that was it no that's not it through this door is your downstairs cloak slash powder room so again you can see here in the more traditional layout you have the utility leading on to the toilet and then you've got your toilet and your sink over here by rocker that's the brand that makes the sanitary wear and then you've got your splashback there the towel splashback and the same detailing and i love seeing the sealant continue all the way around into the space and that gorgeous gorgeous luxury vinyl tile flooring i love that and by putting the toilet here one of the main benefits is that when you're in the garden if you're doing any gardening you can quickly pop in rinse off your tools in here or if you have a barbecue or event people can just pop in and use the toilet and pop back out i love that so now i'm going to take you upstairs to show you the rest of the property welcome to the first floor the upstairs right so now we're in the landing area it's a very nicely proportioned landing from this space there are a few things I just absolutely have to highlight so you can see and experience the tallness the height of the downstairs of the floor below just by looking at this length of wall so and just seeing how tall the floor to ceiling is that's because the downstairs like I said well as I noticed earlier was actually really tall so it's taller than your standard 2.4 meters in height and then again now we're coming up and it's just that elevated level of detail that you see that makes the spaces feel nice and spacious so i also want to mention so cotswold oak they have their kind of their origins in this beautiful bespoke ironmongery um, the bespoke uh, carpentry and woodworking and you can see that in this beautiful um, balustrading and the balusters and of course the solid oak newel posts that woodworking detail is definitely a really nice touch to the home so the first one I'm going to show you is through here so through this door is one of the ensuite bedrooms and yes guys there's multiple ensuite bedrooms look how spacious this is I love it You've got a large bed in the middle and bedsides either side an oversized headboard again 
I, when I saw this, I was just so happy to see an oversized headboard because it means that large pieces of furniture can easily be kind of accommodated in here. There's no trickery with the staging. It really can show you what the home would look like when it's lived, um, how you'd live in it, yeah. And then let's look at the view. Wow, so the view is pretty, pretty spectacular. That's what you get in this development. You get the windows facing the front of your property in the Magnolia. And then we scoot round. TV could easily go on this wall. And let's go into the ensuite. So the ensuite is over here. The ensuite has a window in it. <laughs> so you can see it's got a window there. And you guys know that I absolutely love a window in an ensuite floods the space with light as we're getting towards winter it gets darker so you do need those opportunities to bring in natural light into the spaces we've got that beautiful half height tiling by Porcelanosa my, one of my favorite tiling brands and then it's a three-piece suite so you've got your sink your toilet and your shower by Rocker again you can see the shower itself is a really nice size it's very wide and it's very long as well really really good size i'm really impressed by this and then there's a chrome towel rail behind the door which we'll show you probably in this ensuite or another one let's go back into the landing and cross straight over into the next bedroom so this bedroom is shown as a single bedroom you can see in terms of size, the bed is pushed, in terms of layout, the bed is pushed against the wall. You could easily fit a double bed in here, guys. It's so clear to see, given the amount of spot, the floor space still available. This bedroom has views of the garden and there's a radiator underneath that window. And then against this wall, you can have storage here. It's a full wardrobe system can go there against the wall. So I love that wardrobe system against the wall. Now let's come back out. To the landing space the little peak of the rest of the house we'll show you that in a second so the next space is over here this is the family bathroom family bathroom has a three-piece suite with a bonus shower over the bath as standard so because there isn't a separate shower you do have the shower here here but in some of the other houses in this development which i urge you to take a look at they have separate showers so that's something to consider you've got your kind of full height towel rail over there heater towel rail half height tiling with a beautiful edging strip by Porcelanosa. you've got your sink your toilet and then the bathtub behind me and then a large window bringing in light again the windowsill is done in that gorgeous detail of tiling so that's very good um i'm so glad we've completely moved away from having wood winning wooden window wooden window sills to properties now so, so that's a lovely bathroom to have now let's look at this mystery door so behind this mystery door is a perfect position for a star cupboard so i like the fact that they've utilized we don't actually have a hot water cylinder we have that space and that's great for linen and just storing bits and bobs around the house so the next bedroom is over here we've got a beautifully sized a well-proportioned double bedroom with two bedsides either side, a large window facing the rear garden, radiator, large radiator, good proportions and generous views over the rest of the development. And on this wall is where you'd have your wardrobe. They've showed it with like a table so it can be a work from home space. We can just imagine this is where your double wardrobe would go and there'd be ample opportunity for storage in that space. So back into the landing. Now I'm gonna show you what's behind mystery door number two, which is over here. This is another star cupboard. So it's great that storage has been factored into this house type. You're not gonna be short of it. You can just imagine having shelving in there and you know, taking it all the way up and it's gonna be a very, very useful space. Now, this is the room that I've been saving till last. This is the primary bedroom. And I'm gonna walk straight to the far end of this room just to kind of give it a bit of context. In this bedroom, you've got a large bed. This looks like it's definitely a king size bed in the middle with a bedside table, bedside tables either side, should I say. And then I just love the decor. I know I shouldn't focus on it, but it's beautiful when you have like, large pillows, large throws, large lamps, 
you always know, okay, this isn't a room that's kind of based on stingy proportions. This is a room that I can definitely fill out and put additional pieces of furniture and you can decorate it as you kind of see fit. Um, so yeah, I love the way they've done kind of this kind of like half height paneling and I love the way it's been painted in a really, really warm grey and then paired off with the wallpaper. Again, you can do all of that without making the room feel claustrophobic because it's a really nicely sized bedroom. We've got a window facing the front of the property and then you've got a radiator underneath that window. You've got both of those lights, uh, opening lights and then trickle vents, of course. Again, you can just see how quiet well you can hear how quiet it is in this room so there's a little credenza over here an opportunity for a tv that's if you're a tv watcher in front of the bed and then this is what i want to show you this wall-to-wall -wall storage system so it's a wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe and this comes as standard so this is not an upgrade this is a standard thing that you're going to see in the cotswold oak rooms at this development which is that the primary bedroom always has this fitted arrangement now let's go into the ensuite because there is an ensuite to this and it's a three-piece suite you can see it's got a window bringing in lots of natural light you've got a floating sink which is great for cleaning underneath you've got that beautiful candine flooring again toilet and shower large shower again so we're not kind of getting smaller and smaller and smaller this by no means has been squeezed in. It's been perfectly planned in and you can just tell that it's a really good size. There's lots of space, even with the door kind of in the way, you're not gonna feel claustrophobic in here. I like this little shelving area and it actually goes above the staircase. So we're utilizing every little piece of storage and space left over. So yeah, this is kind of like the space um that could have been left out but they've used it to make it into a feature and then again we've got this heated chrome towel rail behind the door and guys that is the very last room in this floor plan in this floor i should say rather um and this is the magnolia tour it's been really fun touring this property again this is a new entry this is cotswold oak I've probably said that a few times but i just wanted to kind of let you know that it's a different house builder so yeah let us know what you think what was your favorite room leave it in the comments below what was your favorite feature leave it in the comments below and we will see you in our next tour and one of the videos will pop up click on it and we'll see you any minute now bye